Cheers, everybody. <coughs> What's your World Cup predictions? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, I said France. And you? Same? Wee oui, wee! Oui. I don't know. I like want France to win, but I don't care if they lose. You want France to win, but you don't care if they lose? All right. Cool. I want France to win too, but if Messi wins, I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah. yeah so it's like, <coughs> even like Argentina, who are they? Like, they had the. This is the t- tough match now, I'm saying. Like, this is their toughest match. Argentina. Well, sure, man. You're, you're going to be playing uh, World Champs. World Champs, man. When's the last time Argentina was a World Champion? Was it uh, the Maradona it, era? If yeah, they yeah. Asked, was yeah. I remember '88 they played Germany, but Germany won that. No, that's the last one I remember. Yeah. <coughs> '86 was Germany. Yes. So maybe '86 then I'm thinking. They lost to the Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Messi was in the twenty. Uh, was it twenty two thousand eight? The last one. Or is this is sec- the second, second final. Yeah, so it was 2014. At the time, I was like, I don't know how old I was when that happened. I was like, what the fuck is happening? And I saw people like. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. me. My dad's like explaining to me, like, yeah, these people are in the same country, but they weren't allowed to go across this wall to see other people. And like, your family could have been on one side. And you're not about to see them for like fucking six or seven years. I'm like, how fucking crazy is that? I don't even, how did that even happen? Like, I don't even, that was something I gotta go home and Google or go on YouTube and fucking look at. The, the Berlin Wall? Oh, <coughs> how did the Berlin Wall thing start? It was uh, how it started or how it. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. Is it because of world? Like, I, mean, I know I'm stupid. Is it World War II? Like, what happened? Like, war came so much. Yeah, it was, uh, it must have been during the war. Is it a religious thing? Like, how Scotland and. Uh, it must have been during the Holocaust, probably. Oh, Scotland, like the IRA and Ireland, how one side is what? Catholic and Protestant? It's not a religious thing why it was like that. I don't know about that, but I think what they did, this war times, they probably like put up the, the wall because they didn't want to block any tanks or cars from coming in. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, we kind of like this. Let's expand it. Fuck those guys. That's so crazy. We, we don't value like, <coughs> the East Germans sides we're west germany or i don't know i remember i don't even know if me if it was there or that i saw that or something else i remember seeing something like on one side either either uh west germany or east germany they had mcdonald's so those people that are on the other side never had a chance to eat mcdonald's that was a big thing for these people they're running like eating mcdonald's and shit because the ball went down you're like oh we got some american fucking junk food down to eat it started in 1961. 61 that started, huh? Yeah. So the East German soldiers laid down more than 30 miles of barbed wire <clears throat> through uh, the heart of Berlin. So and that's how it started. And then I guess from barbed wire, it became a brick wall. Wow. I don't know why. I don't know. No. You're going to have to fucking take some time yeah, to watch exactly. the documentary on how that shit started. But... <clears throat> I know how it went down. Yeah. We had David Hasselhoff there singing his ass off. Get the fuck out of here. Hasselhoff was there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you, <laughs> do you remember how people were breaking the wall? Yeah, like, yeah. They were happy. They brought whatever they can to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break the wall. I remember people chipping at the walls chipping anything. Chipping at the wall. Yeah. So just picture a dude on one of those skyjacks, like for construction. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's singing on top of Get the fuck out of here. I'm David Hasselhoff. (laughs) In German. (laughs) Oh, isn't he German too? No. He's not. The Germans love him. They just love him. They love his music. How hilarious is that? Yeah. He uh he had his own album and and they fucking yeah, even to this day, they like they love they love David Hasselhoff. He was huge, like in Europe in general. Like my wife even told me she had a picture of David Hasselhoff on her wall as a kid. What? Like, yeah, because he was yeah. a fucking singer. For yeah. them, he was a singer. I'm like, you know, An actor you would have got fucking actor laughed at in America if you had David Hasselhoff on your wall. He's like, yeah, I had him with no shirt on, his chest was all hairy and shit. Like, That's <laughs> kind of fucking weird. Like, you had a dude look like your dad up on your wall. That's fucked up. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. Man. 
Because now, like, if you got hair on your body, you're almost like a fucking freak now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's fucking hairless. <coughs> yeah, nowadays, uh, you got to be, like, clean shaven everywhere, right? Everywhere, bro. Ain't no hair, man. You got hair on people looking at you like, are you fucking, like, from the 80s? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's craziness. That was 1989. 1989? 1989? When the wall came down. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. They're checking out the video. So, and the light, the jacket with the lights on it. So. How amazing would this be? Like, I know this is not the initial day. But if it is the initial day, it's even more amazing because he showed up with the jacket with the lights on. Like, he was ready for this moment. Yeah. Like, it's not like he just jumped down and had a t shirt on. <coughs> amazing. So, 81, sorry, you said 81 happened? 89. 89. 89. So I was already fucking like 12? Yeah. So at that time you were, yeah, that's when you seen it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I thought, yeah, I really didn't understand at all what the fuck was happening. Yeah, you're like, what? A wall coming down? Alright, cool. I was telling you that G yeah. earlier that, uh, <coughs> I don't know if you were listening in. You know where they're gonna do uh, the fireworks this year? No. There. Do you know where they used to do them before? Or they usually do them? Isn't it on the islands? For New Year's. No, for New Year's, I didn't know. I had no idea where they did it. They would go to Nathan Phillips Square. So, oh, yeah, makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nathan Phillips Square in front of City Hall. They have like dancing and whatever, people singing, like music events or whatever. Like, And then. Do the countdown and do fireworks. Mm. So now they decided this year that they're going to do it at harbor front. Okay, and they're going to have water. two, one on each end. <clears throat> okay. Right? And so that everybody around the harbor can actually see okay. the fireworks. I'm like, that's so much better. It's much more space, much more open. And a lot more people are going to be able to see this. Yeah, it's kind of congested down at fucking uh, where they had it before. I didn't, I've never been there for it, but I, I could see it. Like, it's tight, man. For a lot of people, it's, it's tight. Yeah. It's tight. There's going to be a lot of people. Down at the lake, you can, you can spread, spread it out. that oh, shit yeah. out as fucking however oh, yeah. you want it. Exactly. It's a good idea. It is a good I think it's a great <laughs> idea. It's been canceled for the last two years. It has been, yeah. Right now, COVID, they're like, oh. So they're gonna be the let's fucking, bring it out the big fucking bang. This is gonna be fucking extra special this year, right? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Nice. We got saved up five weeks for two years. Nice. Now we got extra. That's how we can do two spots. Hopefully, ain't fucking like minus seven and shit. Well, people still gonna be out. Still still go. Go. Yeah. People still go. Oh, yeah. Existing people in shorts. Yeah. With yeah. chicks and skirts. Definitely. Damn. It's crazy. Damn. Crazy. As long as I got a jacket, my legs don't look like chicks in skirts. They don't yeah, they don't feel cold with that long cold. jacket. Yeah, as long as I got a jacket, my legs are fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember that, man. Like seeing these uh, skimpy little skirts and fucking uh, just fucking heels. <coughs> I'm like, man, I thought I was brave. Yeah, fuck all like, that. So, some of these girls are fucking like, I like Ain't how. No, dudes doing that shit. no man, there's no dude. Like, I'm wearing fucking long johns under under that. Straight if I'm going to a club or something, I would wear long. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not fucking gonna freeze out here, dude. There's lineups, man. Fuck that I shit. <laughs> I guess at whatever point, in your, I guess at one point in your life, you might have did that shit, but not too many times. Man. You know, for me, it was always legs. I can't. I hate feeling cold on my legs. Yeah, you're like fine. upper body. I could be winter. Yeah. I can open up my jacket. Ah. No, I, I can take it in. Yeah. But my legs have to be warm, or right. else I fucking. It's like it Dude. just. That's it. My body's cold. Man. Just the other day, when the temperature dropped like huge, shoes, like sub zero. Mm. I fucking had my ritual, whatever. Get on the fucking go take a shower, open up the balcony. Go on the balcony. It was cold as fuck, but I always go out there when it's fucking cold. Air dry. Just yeah. like Cuba Gooding Jr. I need the air dry, baby. Can't tell with that. I need the air dry. All right. So I go out there, and I'm just stepping on the fucking 
the fucking concrete that's uh, on the balcony. I'm not even thinking anything. Dude, my feet were cold for the whole... Like, I couldn't get the cold out of my feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no matter what I did, wrapped them in fucking the blanket, the socks, nothing could get my feet to warm up. Like, that cold just entered my body, and my fuck from the calf, like, from the feet all up to the calf, frozen. But everywhere else in my body was good. But that cold just got in there quick, man. I think once it hits a certain part of your body, like, everyone has a different, like, body part. Yeah. Where it just gets you, and that's it. It's like, you get that chill. Yeah. Straight through. And it was fucking there. I was like, oh, my feet are killing me, man. They're so cold. You know what? I, slippers. Yeah, I usually now I don't want to go out there. Now I do. I do I've been on your your freaking guy there, uh, Huberman. Oh yeah, you've been listening to him. Uh, sun gazing shit. I like that shit. Mm. Staring into the sun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I I feel maybe it's because I'm doing something new in general. Okay. But that's my new ritual in the morning. I've added that in the morning. Okay. Get nice. up, go on the balcony. Have coffee, no matter how cold it is out there, even if the shirt off, I don't give a fuck. You just look at the fucking sun and just gaze into the sun and get this fucking sun rays in my eye, man. Uh-huh. And I know it makes me feel for this. Last week I've been feeling great. How crazy, but they would say don't stare at the sun. I know, it's crazy. All our lives we've been told not to stare at the sun. Uh-huh. And now they stare, and it's weird too because even this, like yesterday was phenomenal. The sun was bright, uh-huh. clear skies, right? Today, with this little bit of like uh, overcast. But when I stood out there and stared at the sun, I was out there for me, say it got to like maybe like 30 seconds. Uh-huh. That overcast goes away and you can still see the sun. Oh yeah, you can see I the didn't know you, that, you that's fucking see. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the separate you see after I was like, oh, it's it's there, like it's really there. Yeah. It's just that overcast is there like hazy for maybe a few seconds. Yeah. So I don't know what it's gonna do, but so far I feel good. Uh-huh. When I came off the balcony, ran in the house, wife said, you're a fucking crazy person, what are you doing? Uh-huh. That's it, man. So I'm gazing, man. You're All right. Yeah. <laughs> you try it. Yo, man, vitamin D, they say it. It's huge. It's huge on that, man. Huge. Vitamin D. Very, very important. People are, because I don't think but he's everybody more on, I talk to. on, like, the synthesis of taking it through your skin and not taking it in through oral. That's the thing. Everybody's on this, but, oh, I don't need vitamin D. I take the supplement. Why are you taking the supplement? Why don't you just go outside? I think I'll be good for a vampire. Oh, you're good. I'm gonna be good when I go to my school. You're good. You're gonna get too much. You need a half, bro. I'm gonna get vitamin fucking burnt. <laughs> you need a half. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need a half. I'm gonna have to. The one that covers. Like, you want the visor? Yeah, I don't the know, visor, man. The no, flap man. in the back so you don't get redneck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the on, redneck man. hat. The redneck not hat. No, man. No, it's just like. I know what you're talking about. The ones with the long. No, man. I hear. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Yes, like, I'm not even a hat, dude. Let it go get overexposure, right. man. Yeah, I think man. I'm just a cap. How much time are you spending in the sun, dog? Uh, well, dude, I'm going to be in Mexico be all in the, fucking my life now. He's going to be in the heart of the sun now. Uh, it's hotter where you are right now. Yeah, yeah. They, like, she, I have to be in an air-conditioned place. They have air conditioning there for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The other place that was at. Around. I love the other place we were at because it was like... It, when it was hot, it was only because you're outside. But when you're indoors, nice and cool. For real. Yeah, man, it was amazing. I'm like, because I, I remember when I was talking to her, my girlfriend at the time, and I was like, "You got no air conditioning?" She's like, "No." And I'm like, "Oh." And then I got there, and I was like, oh, "Okay, I get it now. It's, no it's, it's a dry heat. Okay. So when you're outside, you fucking burn, <clears throat> right? You gotta like either put some type of motion on." Or, yeah. Or not, like cover up, or not stay up too long, uh, because it burns. Yeah. But humid is gonna be like our winters, our summers. Mm. So it's gonna be that type of summer, that fucking you sweat, your balls are sweating. Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. That that fucking shit. shit. From a ball. Sweat from a ball. Yes. Yeah, so whatever, you know, I adapt. Sorry. Right. Yeah. My balls are dripping. A little bit of sweat. <laughs> My balls are dripping. Drip, drip, drop. They're all stitching. <laughs> and you gotta shift it to the right. You gotta shift it to the uh, left and to the right. Yeah. So, uh. Oh. I should pull this up. There's this uh, AI. 
that you could put in an application and uh, it can wrap any verse you want with any artist you want. Oh yeah? So you put in the, let's say, um, well this guy did it on black beans and chili. Okay. Right, and then you put Drake. So actually I'm gonna make you hear it. Black beans and chili. Beans and chili. Let's see if I find it right away. I think I heard this one. Black beans and chili. Oh yeah, got it right here. So I'll, I'll, let, I'll let even... This is on Instagram, this is everywhere. So if you guys wanna look it up, look it up. But... Yeah, I can make a better Drake song than Drake. Write a Drake verse about how he does it like beans and chili. I don't want no kidney beans, no black beans, no pinto. I want my chili to be packed with flavor, not just full of filler. Ooh, he used to drop it bars. I want to taste the beef and spices, not just the bland bean. Drizzy, Drake, talk to him. All right, let's copy this verse, put it in an Uber Doc, synthesize. Taste the beef and spices, not just the bland bean. <laughs> That's hey, what's pretty up? fucking what's funny, up? funny, yo. Take to my guns and say no to the beans. I don't like them in my chili. It's just how it's gonna be. I don't want no kidney beans, no black beans, no pinto. I want my chili back full of labor, not just full of filler. With beans just making my sheets, not how I like to be. I like my chili <laughs> like a county with a little bit of heat. <laughs> how crazy uh, is that's that? That's pretty fucking funny. That's pretty impressive. So that's AI. <coughs> that's fucking crazy. Artificial intelligence is fucking coming up with beats of. That's crazy. <laughs> so look, look at that. So, in the, so you can get fucked. You can be in a lot of problems. What if somebody puts some some words that you didn't even say, yeah. and yes. puts your voice to that thing? We have you saying this word. And I didn't say that. Uh huh. <laughs> every press right here. I hear you saying this right here. What do you? How do you explain yourself? There's gonna be a lot of authenticating videos. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's gonna be a lot of that. That's pretty like that's not my voice. Oh, you're right. That's yeah, not my voice. yeah, we got to test it. Did you just did you guys see uh, Steph Curry video? No, Which one? It. Steph Curry. He did uh, in the practice gym. He's like at the full court, yeah. and he's just launching balls to the opposite side, like full court. Okay. And it's going in. He's the fuck out. It's yeah. going in. He's going in and he's like, ah, you know, he does his thing and he runs off. Yeah. And people thought it was real. Mm. It wasn't real. It wasn't real? No. It was, when you throw a certain, then they could always change the trajectory on it, but it was, yes, it was deemed, you say, yeah, they came out, it was, it was fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People believe that shit. That's hilarious. So, Damn. Well, you can get, yo, once you see somebody doing anything. It's something amazing, you're gonna believe it automatically. You're like, oh, yeah, he must be doing this. I've seen him do crazy shit. Yeah, so he must be doing this. That's kind of crazy. It's like an eagle taking a baby. He's coming down and swoops a baby. Oh, oh my baby. Yeah, what's your baby doing in an open field? Yeah, because that's what's actually happening. Yeah. yeah, like an eagle could pick up a kid. Come on, please. It's fucking crazy, man. So people believe it. On camera. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Nobody. Yeah. One person. Yeah. Like hey, Bobby. Here, yeah. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. I'm trying to find the name of this movie. Oh, what? What's, what's Gladiator's name again? Russell Gladiator. Crow. Russell Crow. All right. So that hotel smash it, Aussie. Hotel smash it, Aussie. Oh. Any uh, any impersonations? Not that we were, uh, you remind me of. Can you make any impersonations? Are you good at any of them? Uh, or whatever, like, are you something you've practiced when you're at home by yourself? No. no? I don't know. I just like taking little bits of sir. Yes, yeah, I get you. So, like, how sir uh, languages, countries, how they speak English. Okay. No, Irish. Okay, so you like doing like accents. I'm a, I'm a good person. A good person. I, I'm a good person. I don't <clears throat> drink. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So you, you like more like impersonating so, languages. I, 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 like, I find I it interesting that. how like different words are spoken in different ways. Different ways. ways. Mm. Even in the English, um, it's totally 
separate. Like Brits say, they can't say can't. What do they say? Can't. Can't. I can't. I, I can't say can't. it. I can't say it. I can't it. say can't. Or isn't it? In it. In it. In it. In it, governor. Stop and drop the tea. Yeah. I'm sure oi, oi, oi. Have, uh, North American actors. For sure. Hey, man, it's all fair and love and war. You can talk shit about us saying A all the time. Hey! You can't tell me that shit don't sound funny. Uh-huh. Governor! <laughs> yeah, mate. I just figure like a picture of old middle aged white dude with like liver spots on his forehead. <laughs> when you when you say that? With a, governor! Governor! <laughs> <laughs> governor! Governor! Fuck, I'm trying to find this movie I watched. This amazing movie I watched the other day. How amazing is it? It's, it's pretty good. It's just Russell Crowe. It's based on a true movie. Based on a true story. Russell Crowe. Uh, what's the things? What are those islands that have the tower on it? The lighthouse? Is that what that is? For the, for the boats? For the boats. Yeah. Lighthouse, yeah. Okay. Is it him and Robert Patterson? Is Robert Patterson in the movie? Is it, it might be. With glasses? Yeah, with glasses. Is it two dudes? No, three dudes. The Vanishing. Is it like black and white? No. Oh, okay. Then, no. But the movie, you're th- he is in a movie here. I see light, the lighthouse. Uh, that wasn't it. And I think that's the movie you're talking about. But I watched this movie the other day called The Vanishing with Russell Crowe, uh, two other actors, uh, Peter Mullen, and a younger dude. And uh, I would say it's based <clears throat> early, maybe early 1900s. Mid- Early 1900s, somewhere around there. Right. So these three guys, their their job is to work at a, a lighthouse. Okay. Uh, on an island just off the coast of Scotland. Yeah. So they do their they do their shifts in six weeks. Okay. So it shows them in the beginning. These guys are getting boated in. They got their guys that are coming off the island. They meet up, say hello. They're kind of talking about how shitty it's gonna be on the island this time for this trip around. And but the the view, like the optics of the, the of the the movie is amazing because the island's in the middle of nowhere. You see these huge crashing waves. Yeah. And you just see this little, the lighthouse spinning. It's, it's just an amazing view. Okay. Like if there's some place you would just sit down and enjoy the water. You know yeah. what I mean? So they go there. Everybody's cool, cooking dinner and stuff like that. And the young guy on the crew is kind of mouthy, and Russell Crowe has to put him in his place a couple of times. Okay. And um, the old guy's kind of the stable guy. He's been doing it for like I don't know, forty something years. He's been navigating ships off the coast, coast uh, Scotland and stuff. Yeah. So uh, what day goes by? The next day, this guy's out for a walk. The young dude. He goes to one of the cliffs overlooking the water and he sees a, a guy crashed in like a little gully. Okay. Off the, uh, the coast. In a boat? In a boat. Okay. So he calls the guys over and says, hey, there's a guy down there. We're going just to check out, is he alive? See if he's alive. So they send the young guy down, down because he's the lightest. Uh huh. Because it's old school, there's nothing. To do. These guys are holding a rope and letting this fucking guy down. They let him down. Yeah. He checks the guy, sees he's alive, said he's not breathing. He yells out, no, he's not breathing. So he sees a trunk there now. So he starts to fuck around with the trunk. And all of a sudden he says, hey, there's a trunk. And as soon as he says there's a trunk, this fucking guy just comes out of nowhere like Michael Myers. Boom, and starts hitting him in the back of his head. And the young guy is just not prepared for anything. The guy who was uh, the knocked guy, out? The guy who was knocked out. Yeah. Starts grabbing and starts kicking the kid's ass bashing his head on the rocks, cracking, like basically blooding his skull. Uh-huh. He starts to drown him. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? And for some so reason, the kid is like fucking passing out. Yeah. He gets a rock and he just goes, boom, one shot. And cracks the dude's skull on the, on the shot. Guy starts bleeding out. <clears throat> the kid fucking gets up. They, uh, one dude, I think Russell Crowe goes down to help him out. And they get the trunk. And they said they want to open it there. They said, no, we're not going to open it here. Let's bring it back. Yeah, yeah. So they bring the trunk in. And the old man is like... Not even paying attention, like the trunk is not even there. And these guys are like, yo, they're getting the tools to open this shit. And the old man says, yo, don't open the trunk. Yeah. And they're like, what do you mean? Don't open the trunk. He's like, we gotta open the trunk. The guy almost killed us for opening the trunk. That's why we're not opening the trunk. Yeah. Someone's coming. For Some. You. There you go. The old man knows. So days go by and they're like, 
nobody's doing anything and it leads to this old man the older gentleman has a lot of pain his wife died it's one of the it's at the time in europe when people were dying of like disease and stuff all right so his wife died his i think his two children died the old and man the old man and he starts to get drunk at night pissy drunk so russell crowe goes to help him a couple of times and one night he's kind of pissy drunk and he goes and looks at the fucking trunk he opens it so he opens it and dude when he opens it there's like 20 gold bars so you gotta think gold bars back then He's like, what the fuck? So you hear him open it, clink, 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 clink. Like you hear clinking. It's, it's, it's almost like, the best part of it is like, almost like the Pulp Fiction. Because it, the room, you can tell, there's no yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. The only light is the lighthouse. So we open this truck and this thing just glows. I'm like, what the fuck could be in here? And you hear him touch it and you hear clink, clink, clink. And he takes the cloth and you see these amazing gold bars. And he's like, what the fuck? He just closes it back, lashes it like nothing even happened. Uh-huh. Now he knows somebody's coming for this shit, right? Uh-huh. So the other dudes, for the next few days, they're hassling him. We gotta open the trunk, we gotta open the trunk, we gotta open the trunk. He's like, no, 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 don't open the trunk. Uh-huh. So they kind of like make a coup. They're okay. like, fuck this old dude. Yeah. They watch away from the go to, up to, into his bedroom, whatever, and they get this shit. So the old man comes downstairs because he knows they're plotting to do something. By the time he comes downstairs, he's in the kitchen. Boom, they got the thing open. They're like, what the fuck? Look at all this gold, we're gonna be rich, we're gonna be rich. And the old man's like, shit. Yeah, so like he sits him down and said, we're not doing anything with gold. We're closing the trunk, and we're gonna put it away. Cause like you said, you know somebody's coming for it. They argue, they argue, they argue, and they're like, all right, we'll leave it for now, we're gonna figure what's gonna happen. Mm. Next day, one guy, next day. They're out on the fucking thing just because the old man knows somebody's coming. Yeah. yeah. So they're just looking into the distance, looking in. He says, if you see anybody coming, just let me know. And the young dude's just out there sitting. All of a sudden, you see this little ass fucking ship coming. The little ass ship coming from the distance. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so the old man says, go back in the house, get the fucking, um, the guy that they crushed his skull, hide the body, put it into like the church they had there, get the trunk of gold, put it somewhere hiding. I don't even want to know where the fuck it is. Just put it away. So the boat docks, these two fucking uh, Scandinavian Viking dudes come in. Uh-huh. But they're speaking proper English. Like, hey, how are you today? I'm like, oh, I'm doing all right. They ask questions. Did you see any boat come here? He's like, uh, actually, we did see a boat here and uh, somebody came and uh, the body, there was a body there and there was some stuff on the boat. But we reported it to the authorities, so they came yesterday, take the boat, <coughs> and took everything back to the mainland. Oh, is that so? And they're asking the question. All of a sudden, they just turned down the Norwegian and they started speaking their own language. Mm-hmm. And the old man's like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then one guy's just a regular sized guy, and one guy's <coughs> like a motherfucking <coughs> bear, bro. All right, yeah, so he yeah. starts circling the old man. So now Russell Crowe and the other dude are in the house, and they're like, "Oh fuck, they're good. something's going on." So the young dude runs out, and then the stories get mixed up. Did they come to fucking pick up the body or not? Did you find a trunk with gold? Was there gold? No gold. Everybody's making the wrong yeah. statement. So now the fucking the Scandinavian guys are like, okay, we know something's going on. Yeah. So they're like, all right, no problem. We'll see you later. So they go back in the boat. <clears throat> they start going off. And the fucking dudes went back to the house to go radio for the authorities at that time. But the Viking dudes were listening on the radio in their boat. And as soon as they heard the radio for the fucking thing, he said, these guys are lying. They turn back. They're coming back to the island. But it's old school. So nobody has any guns. Yeah. It's either your fist or you got like a shovel or something. Yeah. Or they had the fucking thing, the cut like thing, like the hacky oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're freaking. So the guys come back. And it's in the middle of the day. It's all daylight. And all they're doing is just circling the island. And they just walk around the whole island, the whole day until night falls. Trying to see if these guys are going to come on the island. And all of a sudden, the fucking, they go around the bend of the island. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? The boat disappears. And now it's pitch black night. So all you see is a crazy scene. Because all you see is when the light comes around. Right, right. So you see light for like five seconds, and then everything's pitch black. Like, oh, oh. Light for five seconds, and then everything's pitch black. So nobody can see what's going on for that fucking time. Yeah. So all of a sudden, they hear like a clinking inside the freaking house, the main house. And they're like, shit, they're on the island. How'd they get on the island? We were watching the boat. Yeah. All of a sudden, Russell Crowe turns around that big fucking Viking guy. Boom, with a shovel. Boom, smashes Russell Crowe. Busts his shit. Boom, boom, boom. Beats down Russell Crowe with a freaking shovel. The old man runs into the house. Uh, the other dude is there. Yeah. And just knocks him out. Just boom, just punches the old man. 
So now there's a struggle. The young dude, they're like, they're like, fair enough. Okay, we need to know where the gold is. Yeah. Like, where's the fucking gold? Like, we don't know anything. The old man not even saying anything. So they just got a knife and they're stabbing him in his leg, trying to get him to fucking say what's going on. They're beating up the other kid, and it's like getting crazy. So all of a sudden, figure all of a sudden, superhero Russell Crowe just busts in from nowhere. They choke out the big Viking dude. Uh-huh. They get the other freaking dude. They, they, they think, oh, they, there's another thing. Oh, there's a thing in there where they, they, they kill both dudes anyways. Okay. So I thought, okay, now we're, everything's done. The body's are, what do we do from here? Like, we got it. What are we going to do? And it's like, okay, no, we go back to the island. Nobody knows anything. We're going to come back here and do our shift six weeks. We're going to come back here and do another shift. We're going to do our next shift and our next shift. And a year from now, we'll divide up the gold. But nobody says nothing for a year. For a year. I? I. You know, I says I, right? <laughs> so they're sitting there. They make the deal, whatever. And all of a sudden, they're just thinking about stuff. And all of a sudden, there's movement by the fucking window. Like, what the fuck was that? And they saw some, all of a sudden they see somebody running. Oh, there's another buddy. The, there's somebody else out there. So there was a third party. That's why somebody was driving the boat when the other two guys are already on the island. That's how they got duped. So they run out now and they're chasing this other third person. And they're like, remember I said, every five seconds, you get five seconds of light. So Russell Crowe's fucking with the fucking weed yeah. hacking tool. Chasing this person, chasing this person. He sees a little bit of a light and he sees a person. He just swipes. I got him. I got him. Dude, when the fucking light comes around again, it's like a 10-year-old kid, dog. Oh, man. The kid was just running scared, didn't want to say anything. Cut the kid's throat. That was who was peeking? That who was peeking through the window. So now Russell Crowe's fucking freaking. And, sure. And he has a mental breakdown. From there, it's just them trying to keep him on the right track and not go mentally crazy. But he just goes fucking mentally crazy, and then it. Uh, I don't want to end creep as okay. give you everything, but from there, the whole thing is just trying to get Russell Crowe back on his feet, so we can get the goal. At that point, they just said, "We're just get this guy back to health, and get the fuck off of Allen, and split the money, and just run." All right. Yeah. Because now we got the dead boy, the two dead bodies. Like this is fucked. Now we just gotta yeah. run. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so it's pretty. It's amazing. Check it out. <laughs> the vanishing it's amazing the it's vanishing. Really very well done like I said I just like the way that it's, it's done because there's no deciding factor like if it was now oh, we just shoot you and take your shit and just no it's like okay we gotta yeah. figure out how we're gonna beat you up hit you with a 2 by 4 or a shovel or it's just man on man shit yeah yeah it's pretty interesting crazy battle for what for the fuck battle for the fucking gold yo Gold, podcast. Yo. How you said that is fucking amazing. Thanks. It's the fucking guy.